guessing who Viego is from the music alone. My name is Marco. I'm a pro opera singer turned voice actor. I love video game music. I love talking about video game music. Let's dive in to Viego. I'm not looking at the screen. Music first. I have no idea what's going on. I'm going to try and guess his character from the music alone. Here we go. Viego is old. Viego is damaged. Viego is a person who has suffered a great deal. Viego is a person that has brought suffering. This toy box music is interesting, this music box, because it seems to me like it indicates a child. It indicates some sort of connection to, to a child or, or perhaps his childhood. But even, even the voices, it starts ominous, right? So so clearly he's not necessarily a good person. And the ruined king, which means he's had a fall from grace. So I'm not sure what his life is all about right now, but he is, he is sort of stained. The music box uh, represents to me innocence or, or perhaps the loss of innocence. And I think he has lost quite a bit. And maybe this is a quest to find what he has lost but I, I do think that he doesn't care who gets in his way. Let me keep listening. Is Viego, Viego represents a lot of green, right? There's like a lot of green in Viego. Pretty sure, like I've seen a picture. So like there's like this sm smoky thing. Are the voices, the souls of his followers or his folks, people, you know? Like what is that sound? And also this music, these block chords, boom, 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 boom. There's a diminished in there. You're looking out and you're seeing a ruined kingdom, a damaged kingdom, destroyed world, a uh, destroyed city, but it's like medieval city, you know? It's a damn piano sonata. It's astounding. This is like a piano concerto that you would hear in a symphony hall. Wow, that is so cool. That is so good. And then we have these chords and these these scales that sound like Rachmaninoff, like a Rachmaninoff or a Chopin piano concerto. Viego has a sense of class, a sense of positioning, posture, elegance, nobility. Of course, he's a king. This this piano is very classical sounding. This this the instrumentation, and then of course we have that brass. Bum bum. It almost sounds like. Sounds like gunfire, cannon. Oh, so majestic.
This woman's voice represents something. Could be a ghost or like a past reflection. And the music box too is interesting. And again, I'm going back, it's, maybe there's music boxes are connected to children. It's not a good man, not a good man. There is a lot of pain in here and a lot of deception, lots of like nef nefariousness, like things have been done to punish others, things have been done to get his way. He seems like selfish. He seems like not a very good person. There's a destructiveness in this sound. <laughs> that boom. Then we have a double in the strings too. That to me reads like trying to be good, evil. Trying to be good, I'm doing my best not to be evil. Do, trying to be good, I am in fact very evil. You know, like uh, a very much a nemesis or a, a villain in this story. Let's watch the video. The housing's loose again. What did you do to this thing? You'll have it fixed by Mudtown. With currents and wind conditions, we can be there in three days. Should be leagues from here. Well, it saved us a trip. Sit down. Hey, we don't run from darkness. We light the way. destroy this world.
got to go back for her. Sinner? We can't defeat him alone. Huh. He's the, the big bad of, of, the, of League of Legends. He's trying to get his wife back, okay, his, his bride. Uh, yeah, he's insanely powerful. I didn't get a lot about Viego out of that. I'm gonna watch his champion spotlight now. Once the young, rash king of an ancient realm, Viego went mad upon the death of his wife. To bring her back, he'll stop at nothing, even if he destroys everything. Now a powerful wraith, Viego can possess the wills and skills of his adversaries. He's a cruel, skirmishing assassin, and no foe is safe from his merciless blade. The dead will not rest until I am whole once more. Witness the wrath of the ruined king. Welcome to the Viego Champion Spotlight. Viego's passive Sovereign Domain allows him to claim champions who fall to his blade. Upon a killer assist, he can possess them, healing for a percentage of their max health. Possessing a champion allows Viego to become them for 10 seconds, replicating all of their non-ultimate abilities, attacks, and item passes. This is Viego's bread and butter. Use your passive to turn the enemy team's strengths against them. Master yourself, master the enemy. The more you know about your opponents, the better you can best them. Alright, cool. Let me look up some Viego lore. Since I feel like I understand now. The second son of a dynastic king, Viego was never intended to lead. Instead, he lived a life of comfort that made him complacent and selfish, right? Oh, his brother died. Viego, who possessed neither the inclination nor the aptitude for rulership, suddenly found himself crowned. So taken was he by her beauty that the young king offered her hand in marriage. Their romance was enchanting. Really showed interest in anyone. The two were inseparable. Oh, the dagger struck his old, okay. Overwhelmed with fury and despair, he spent every last coin within his coffers trying to save her. But it was all for naught. His old perished in her bed, and Viego was consumed by madness. Viego hid himself away with his oldest body, becoming hateful and violent. The secret of the Blessed Isles, of its water that healed any ailment. With his great army, he stormed the peaceful country by force, slaughtering everyone who stood in his way. Zolda arose a horrifying wraith of shadow and rage, and in her pain, her anger, her confusion at being ripped from death, she took Viego's own enchanted blade and thrust it through his heart. Wow. His country collapsed into ruin, great nations rose and fell, and in time even his name was forgotten. His mind twisted by the same dangerous obsession he possessed in life, Viego's unflinching, deranged love fuels his every action, his every desire, his every atrocity. The deadly black mist pours freely from Viego's broken heart ripping the life from everything it touches, and he uses the mists to scour the world for some way to return Isolde by his side. His reign is terror, his love is eternal, and until Isolde returns to him, all will fall before the ruined king. What a complex and amazing character. That is so cool. I understand that. That is fantastic. Huh, it's got me really thinking about his music now, and that classical yeah, thinking about like a medieval essence, right? And I love that the piano is used so liberally, and it really does sound like piano concertos that you would hear in a symphony hall and with the New York Phil or, or whoever. There's such a an essence of, of romanticism, yeah. Huh, that's so cool. Chopin and Rachmaninoff and these folks, these folks all came around in this time period of romanticism, of telling true emotions through piano. It wasn't just about technique flourish, and you really hear that in, in Viego's theme. There's this elegance. It all makes a lot of sense. That's super cool. As always, thanks a ton. This was amazing. Uh, I really appreciate it, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.